it's Werewolf Wednesday. And for anyone who may be wondering why I've worn three of the FNAF character outfits out of four, let's just say Foxy's going to be saved for the movie time, provided that whole thing works. So I still got to fix, I guess still got to figure that those settings out uh, this morning so we can do that. But, we have an unboxing to do this morning. A very special one. And if y'all are like me, when you get something from Amazon, you're a bit impatient, but it's like, no. I've learned to be patient. Especially when I'm using it for content. Okay, and they still have the paper up in here. Julie. Okay. So, keep in mind, my original werewolf mask, my best, my favorite one, yes, was from Ames. It was latex. It was more on the thin side, which is why it fell apart. It was a gray wolf. Um... And it had its mouth open. No, I did see one that had its mouth open, but the bottom jaw was sticking out further than the top, and that triggers me. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Um. No, the first gray one that I saw that I actually did kind of like came with a diff another mask. But why did they tape the zipper part shut? Really? I must have just ripped the whole bag. Like, what the fuck? Or cut it. Okay, so the first one was a part of two. Okay, these are. F yeah, these are foam. That's actually not bad. So the first one came with a half werewolf, kind of. Actually, that looks more just like a regular wolf, but it reminds me of the, the Therian masks. So, I mean, it's okay, but that was not what caught my eye. What caught my eye was this one. I'm not gonna find the Therian. Oh my god, is this one? Because it definitely is a full face. And I just, I like this style. It kind of reminds me of um, World of Warcraft's werewolf style a little bit. I don't know. Like, it's creepy, but it's cool looking. I like this one. Um, and actually, they came in decent shapes. There was, I, because I always look at reviews for stuff like, some people said their masks came ripped or whatever. I'm like, nope, there's no issue with mine. And I think those are older reviews, too. And y'all know Amazon has its thing where you buy, you spend a certain amount, and you get free shipping. And I always try to do that whenever I buy something from there. So that pack of two was pretty much the same price it's the big one. And together, that qualified for free shipping. So the big one is a rubbery plastic that is definitely not latex. And unfortunately, it is not gray. But I do kind of like it. I need to stick my fingers in it to make sure it's like... All right. Mm. 
might have to put like something stuff something in it to um expand it a little bit because they get a little mushed from shipping but i think that's a pretty cool looking werewolf mask kind of reminds me of the uh, van helsing style actually Kind of looks like the brother from, from Van Helsing, if you think about it. So yeah, I finally have a werewolf mask. Not as cool as my original, but he's still pretty cool. So, yay. Completion to collection of masks. Now, there's a couple I've been eyeballing at work, but wait till they go on clearance. Maybe get one now now some of the halloween stuff if you go to walmart it's already on clearance it's like for the lighting and i think decorating that stuff's already 25 percent off just everything but the costumes pretty much is 25 percent off so if there's any like special decorations you really want that you know are at walmart go get them now before they're gone because you know not a whole i think they're doing that this year because I feel like too much stuff gets left over, so they go for the smaller markdown first, so people can, you know, if they really want it, get it and decorate and not have to spend as much. See, Walmart knows how to save people money. Like, they're not stupid. They know how to keep people coming back, even though people, like, say, oh, I'm gonna shop somewhere else. Like, okay, Karen, what the fuck ever. <laughs> so... Because for the longest time, and I thought this was weird, like, when did they do, when did they do, like, right when we set Halloween, the fall stuff had already pretty much been out, and it went to 25%, and I'm like, it's literally going to be 25% off for, like, ever, like, it was several, it's, it was 25% off for, like, a couple weeks, and then I'm like, okay, I have this weird feeling. Halloween week, the fall stuff is going to go to 50% off. Sure enough, that's what happened. It is now 50% off for all the fall decorations. But the weird part is, is like, people who decorate for Halloween put their Halloween stuff up first. And then they put their fall stuff up, so... I mean, that's what I'm going to end up doing, like... And I just realized that, like, when am I going to have time to decorate my setup? <laughs> because obviously, tomorrow's Halloween. I'm just going to have to leave it for, like, Sunday or something. Um, so spooky stuff will be up. Well, hold on. Let's check something. Because I think... If I remember correctly, damn it, I hate the fucking buttons on the side of the keyboard, or the side of the mouse. I never use any of that shit. It's fucking pointless, in my opinion. Um, let me see something. Oh, I forgot to do her fucking other dailies. Uh, I know I haven't been streaming... Headless Horseman stuff. I only did it, I only streamed it once. And I don't even know if I'm going to upload that. I might not even bother uploading it. Let me look at my calendar on WoW. Okay, so Hollow's End. The, the Halloween um, event on World of Warcraft. It started the 25th, and it goes until the 8th, actually, of November. So, and Day of the Dead is on Friday, and ends on Sunday, so it's basically Friday through Saturday. So Hollow's End literally has, like, 
a couple weeks, which is nice. So I have a couple weeks to try and get the headless horse in his mouth. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to stream that. I really don't. Just, again, like, I'm just going to keep try making sure I try to do it every freaking day. To try and get that stupid mail. I, I don't have the highest hopes for getting it this year, but I'm going to try. Um, and then the Dark Moon Fair begins the 9th. My vacation begins that Sunday. And I'm pretty sure that's my stream anniversary. Well, we're going to call it my stream anniversary since I can't freaking figure out what the hell it is. So my stream anniversary date. Well, I mean, it was the date that I got two followers on Twitch, so. I'd say that's fucking close enough. So, there's that. And that vacation will probably be doing whatever monthly, um, trading post grind and whatever, you know, whatever comes along with that. But so we're going to keep this short, short, this vlog. Um, just let me know what y'all think of this mess. It had decent, it definitely had good ratings. So I can't complain. Um, and it was, we'll just put it this way. Minus the shipping, it was under twenty dollars, and that's that's actually really good, because a lot of the other ones were were like twenty and up, like twenty five and up, and. I was like, well, my original was gray, but I could go with a brown one, why not? I mean, my hair's brown, so it matches. <laughs> it probably would be more if I turn into a werewolf. My hair would match, the fur would match the color of my hair anyway, so. But I do also like this one a lot. It's creepy, and I bet you it would fit, um, no, oh, he's in the closet, never mind. It would probably fit my black light foxy plush. I could probably stick it on him. Not that he needs it. But yeah, we're... No guarantees, but... I am this morning going to be messing with settings and hopefully getting this whole movie thing to work. Because I'll be watching it and live streaming it on DVD. So, we'll see how that goes and... I'll see y'all in the next video. And you will see my Halloween costume tomorrow morning.